You know what, I, I'm super excited because, you know, this is Billboard, this is like the, you know, the award show. It's just so uh, huge, very huge moment for me. And I'm just so thankful that, you know, I was invited to, to be a part of such a, you know, a monumental stage in music. So um, I couldn't be happier. And I really worked hard on my performance. I really just so grateful that I get a chance to do a medley of my, you know, a few of my songs and just really take it all in. So I'm really blessed. Well, I'm a huge fan of Ty Dolla Sign. I think he's a brilliant artist and, you know, he's always shown, you know, a lot of respect for my music. So I just felt like, you know, the sound of our voices would be great. I had a, a you know, a song called No Tomorrow on my new album, B7, and I thought that he would just bring a different flavor and just kind of take it up, you know, a notch. And, you know, he was down to do the performance and, you know, to perform with him for the first time and to perform on Billboard for the first time. I had to do something, you know, so um, it worked out great. Well, I absolutely love the stage. Of course, you know, with an audience, it, it you know it gives you a different energy. But you know, also without the audience, you know, it it allows you to really focus and you know focus in on what you're doing, and you don't have to worry about you know. Well, you do because they're going to still be watching. But you know, for me, I just try to put you know a hundred percent into anything and everything that I do. So because it's Billboard, because it's so special, because it's my first time, I wanted to give it my all with or without the live audience. Well, you know what? I think creatively, you know, this is a this is a great time to self-reflect and to, you know, try to be as creative as possible because you do have a lot of time on your hands. But, you know, fortunately, my my album B7 was was done before the quarantine, and I was a little, you know, afraid to to, to put music out because I didn't know if, you know, it would go with the times and what we were all going through. But I felt like, you know, music has the power to heal. So I, I decided to go ahead on and, and, and put out the music and, you know, people really appreciate it. It's a healing album, B7, and I'm just glad that I'm, I'm able to share in this time because this is the time where we need it most when we're all going through, you know, what we're going through. I do remember the first time I saw my name on the Billboard chart, charts. I was number 90-something with I Want to Be Down. Um, and from there, I started to climb the charts, and I remember going all the way up to to the top of the charts. And then um, I remember having a, a, The Boy's Mind I think was on the charts for like 13 weeks. So to make history with Monica and to just be, you know, when you're on the billboard charts, you're, you're doing something. So I, I'm just grateful to, to be at any number that I've, I've been able to be because you know, I'm here, I'm here right now. And it's just, um, it's honestly, it's, um, it feels really good.